We hustlers. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we live. You think, you think this is a joke? What <laughs> is going on, everybody? We back with another episode of From My Experience Podcast. I'm your host, Rob. I'm actually live with everyone today, so this is no Skype shit. Um, I've been drinking a little bit. Y'all know how I get what I've been drinking. And this hookah got me lightheaded. I'm with the... <laughs> I'm with my party brothers right now. I'm too old for this shit. But we're gonna go around the table, let everyone introduce themselves. We're just gonna talk a bunch of shit, man. Um, it's been a while since I hung out. I needed a night like this. I've been fucking stressed. But we're gonna talk a lot of shit. Hopefully, y'all learn something. Hopefully, y'all grow from this. Y'all learn from this. Keyword learn. So, we're gonna start to my left. And he's drinking. What's up, everybody? Uh, it's Rob Brown. This other guy's on his phone. What's up, man? I'm off. They can't hear. Okay. okay he's, he's you getting on? Hey. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to talk about what? <laughs> what you tell I'm about to talk about what? What, what, what you say your name? Did you? I was yeah. Yeah. What's up, everybody? My name is R.J. Robinson. <laughs> Real nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we all the way live. Mm. All right. You so. You want a cool voice model? You sound like you a cool boy, mom. Yeah, you were a mom. So, uh, we're gonna talk about women. Fuck it. I know nothing. Who got who got any information on women? I don't know shit, man. I'm, I'm learning every day. I'm lying. Then, oh, don't get quite. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna take a hit real quick. <laughs> what about them, man? What you want to know? What's a good topic? Women, I will say this to every single woman. We can't live without y'all. That's the truth. We need y'all. Right. Um, depending on the guy, will depend on in what capacity <laughs> and how, to what extent. However, J. Cole did say a real line. Um, I won't fully go into it, but he did say, I love it when you give me, but I hate it when you give me a headache. So that's a real line, though. But we do love our woman. Yes, I definitely love my woman because she supports me and listens to my podcast. Hey, baby, love you. Um, Ma, you she's just over there. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm with it. You ain't saying nothing, though. Nah, but I'm saying, but like you said, you know, we need our women to help. <laughs> <laughs> we need our woman. My bad. I mean, they help us grow. They help push us. You know, they're our motivators. So, I mean, we need them. True. It's our blessing. For how much do we really oh, need shit. them, though? I'll put it to and you. And I'm, like, I'm just playing devil's advocate. That's a real question. Okay, so, I, shit, I'm glad you, 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 you did what I like to call a fire starter. So, how much do we really need them? You know what's funny is, like, I found that when I'm single, my motivation is a hell of a lot different. And the way I go about things is a hell of a lot different than when I do have a woman in my life. Because they hold you accountable. Right. They got nice. expectations. I mean, which you should have expectations and accountability for yourself. But it's different when you know you got to come home to somebody. Or you got to do things with someone. Or you potentially are planning a future with somebody. So that's a together mentality versus a single mentality. True, it's true. You, it's you yourself. You know what I'm yeah. saying? When it's just you. But if we saying from my experience, I can only talk on my experience, I get all of that and I agree. However, you can be in a relationship with a woman that don't do none of that. And she just cooling. That's true. You come in the house, she just chilling. She don't care what you did today. You say, oh, baby, I got a promotion. She like, oh, that's cool, baby. And keep going on about your business. Yeah, like, hit you with a congrats. Man, I said, I... So I'm glad you said that because, fellas, that's a sign of somebody you probably might not want to be with. Um, if, if your woman doesn't motivate you and doesn't support you, you're probably in a bad situation. Been there, not done that. that. You got to support her too, though. True. It's definitely a two-way it's, street. It's You know, it's a bond. If she feel like you ain't giving her that support, why is she going to pat you on the back? That's true, man. Like, a girl that don't support you, a woman that don't support you, that's a girl, not a woman. Damn! <laughs> Take a sip of that. I mean, so if you reverse that, what's the man? Saying, that's a boy. Man, exactly. that's a boy. So, ladies, you better get a man. 
And, you know, the word support is very deep and it, it takes a lot of communication to understand. Like, I'll give you from my personal experience, like my girl just cut her hair for the first time ever. She cut her hair. So people like RB over here. <laughs> you about to lie to me. <laughs> on the podcast. Oh, wait. <laughs> this this Someone lie, got a phone baby. call. But RB made fun of me, but it's all good though. He was he was chilling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My girl cut her hair. She was really nervous Give about me 30 it. Seconds. Let me walk outside. I'll call you back. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. My she man loves she was woman. nervous about it. She was cutting her hair and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I couldn't be there, which fucked me up because we got some distance between us. So when I went to the barbershop, I was like, all right, I'm going to go on the same day. I'm going to get a different cut that I never had before. So I got some kind of fade mohawk shit. They actually ended up looking really good. Because um, I'm a little Thank wavy you. up Aww. here. We get and a I, sound box. Aww. Shut up. That was an all moment. But. It helped her through her situation, you know what I mean? Like that's the level of support that you gotta be willing to go through. What type of cut she got? She got, the, yeah, she got yeah. the low cut. She got the picture All right, I'm gonna cut. show y'all some. She got like exclusives. The fresh, cut off the relaxer cut. What cut she got? She got the Neil Long short hey. or the Amber Rose short. Nah, not Amber Rose. I'm uh, thankfully not to that. Your fake. I mean, but that's different. You know, that's different. All right, let's see what she talking about here. Oh no, nah, that's that. That ain't really a cut, cut. No, that's a. I mean, it's a cut. It's a nice cut. No, it was a cut, but, cut. but she like, still got some hair coming. No, her off. natural hair was like I, I can't explain that. That's about to say it yeah. go from like she go from like this to you know like yeah, this. like from she a lot to a little. But yeah, it, if, as long as she ain't cut side off. Because if she cut the whole side off, then I'm like, dang girl. What's going on? I think I think she will look good. She thinks she got a big head. I told her she don't have a big head. I, mean, I know some women with some big ass, all long ass heads. I love y'all too, but she don't have one of those. You know what I'm saying? I was like, baby, your head is fine. Hey, like, if you had, had a big head, come up with the line, hey, big head somewhere. Yeah. Hey, that's little, <laughs> hey, hey, no, hey, you got hey. Shut it up. is what it is. Women don't like the hey, big head. Man, they don't, man. Hey, hey, girl, if you got a big head, it's okay. It you is okay. Them. Big head, I, big I'm, brain. I'm okay with that. I ain't gonna say big brain, but you know, if you got a big head, it's all so good. So you think chicks with big heads got little brains? Or you just don't I know? can't comment on their brain size, because I'm gonna brain. tell you right now. <laughs> book smart and street smart, so common sense, you know, common sense ain't so common. So, I'm gonna tell you, that's a line that every man says about his woman. One time. I've never said like, that. <clears throat> I don't believe in lying too close to uh, Sunday. So I'm not wow. going to uh, engage in the other Rob statement. This is his show. So, uh, from so my experience, common now, sense, there, make that comment. So to, since we're talking about support, there's also a thing called tough love. So you got to also be real and honest and let them know that what they're doing or if they're doing something that is absolutely trash. Like if I'm trying to rap and I'm trash, like I need my girl to tell me, baby, I love you. Your shit what? I'm good. Yeah, like, tell me it's whack. Like, tell me it's trash. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't have me out here looking stupid. Like, you gotta be... You can't be afraid to tell me the truth. Right. I think a lot of dudes are scared to tell their woman the truth. And I think sometimes the women are scared scared to tell their dude a lot of tr the truth because they're afraid of the repercussions or the arguments or the discouragement. No, like, I'm asking you because I genuinely want to know like I do that with my girl all the time like I'll send yeah. her something or she'll send me something because she does makeup too mm. so she'll be like well what do you think of this look and I'm not a makeup dude but I'm like yo and I don't like makeup normally I don't like makeup on a woman mm -hmm. but the way that she does it is like it's classy it's elegant it's not too much she don't look like a fucking birthday cake oh. you know what I'm saying like <laughs> that cake don't look like if your arm and your face are two nah. totally different complexions that no. scares me a bit or the ones no disrespect to my women whatever <laughs> But you got the ones that put on the makeup and it look like they got like pecan face sometimes oh, with shit. the cookie crisp joint. I seen a meme about that. I'm listen, I'm not trying to be mean about it, but I'm just saying like listen, I love you and care about you however you look. But uh if it don't look right to you, it ain't gonna look it right don't to look your right man. To God. It, it, it <laughs> don't look right First of all, I ain't going that far. But <laughs> it don't look right at all. You know what I'm saying? If you gotta look at yourself three times in the mirror, it don't look right. And there's a way to go about it too. Like if you're not feeling something or you don't like something, hey babe, why don't you try this? Like I think what you did was pretty good. 
But what do you think about this? Or oh, let's try it this way. You know what I'm saying? Like nothing about that Instagram post you like though. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's listen. the same look that you liked on Instagram the other day. I saw you like that girl pic. Yeah, yeah. You told me that you like this cut. Baby, I never said I like shortcut. Yes, you did. Hey, you double tap cut. three of that girl pics. Hey, facts. Listen. Everybody can look like everybody in the picture is like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, big this is this is another thing that y'all need to definitely take heed of. This is for me. I mean, we say we're gonna talk about women, but this is really a two way street. The things you do to attract someone and the things you do to keep them can be totally different. Y'all totally. need to keep that in mind. Y'all definitely need to keep that shit in mind. Listen, um, if you meet me and I met you and you was trying to do your IG model type phase and whatnot, that was good when I first met you. But I probably was like. 22 like i'm 25 26 going on about to be 27 28 i'm trying to settle down i don't care about no ig model i want to know if you can cook i want to know if you can hey. cook in the park. god dang i want to know if you can watch the kids like, hey. that's what i need to know like i don't care no more about that like listen mm -hmm. i met you one way but it's okay we can grow it's okay if y'all grow that's we the word all gotta grow that's the you, word I was working out heavy, and I might have slacked off, but you got to push me so I can keep growing. We push me. <laughs> keep Listen, growing. Me and my girl are actually doing a fitness challenge right now. We're doing a 90-day challenge because she mentioned something. I mentioned something. We mm. kind of went back and forth. I'm like, yo. Well, no. She was actually like, we should do it together. You have been chilling. You, you got relationship weight back on. You no, lost a lot of weight. This is life, just telling you, though. life stress weight. No, you got a relationship me. way back on. Soon it's not a relationship soon, way, soon as Rob, Listen, y'all. As soon as Rob called me and told me he got in a relationship with this his girl that he been waiting to get back with, all I was like, dang, bro, you start working out, everything. He was like, I got to go to Cali. I got to go to, I gotta go to uh, um, North. I got to go to my baby. He was like, bro, I'm going out to eat. I was like, dang. Bro. I will not take this fucking slander. <laughs> what the fuck you doing? My phone ain't never been that lit. Um... It's no, baby, my weight is not from you. No, it's it's I life. I said it was from her. I just said relationship weight. Come, relationship weight is a great thing. I don't relationship know. You weight. definitely got some relationship weight. First of all, don't play me. <laughs> don't even try to play me. Don't try to play me. Jamal whooping both our asses in that department. That is a... You know what? I'm not going to Yeah, Jamal was, I'm, kind of, I'm, Jamal I'm, was like low-key fat last time I was over here. That was a bro, long ass Jamal's time ago. still fat. Nah, he's, he's getting in shape. First man. of all, y'all let them medium shirts fool y'all. He said schmeedy. <laughs> I'll let them baby fat shirts fool you. Yo, but <laughs> you you said a key thing, man. Like, grow. Oh, shit, I'm going to get a copyright claim for that. Um, I'm going to have to edit that. <laughs> Hell yeah. ESPN. Man, fucking take my off, shit man. down. That's cool. That's cool. We'll see. Um, but yeah, growing together is definitely important. Um, and the reason you have to do it together because growth is natural. Like yeah. where y'all meet each other and where y'all end up. Yeah. Um, unless y'all just millionaires and y'all got y'all shit figured out. Niggas gonna always hate. Yeah. Then it like should. Harvey. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna things things change. You know what I'm saying? Like things definitely change. Like what you're attracted to, what you're passionate about, what you like to do, what you don't like. That kind of shit changes, which again brings me back to the communication piece too. Like you got to be able to be with someone you can talk to. Right. If you're not with somebody that you can talk to, I think you're fucked. Right. Like there's just no other way to put it. And I will say, Damn. me and my girl have like communication level like twenty five thousand. Like that shit is, we can talk to each other. We talk to each other about any and everything, man. And she never makes it uncomfortable for me, and I never make it uncomfortable for her. Ever like, Man. and it never, it doesn't turn into an argument, and it doesn't get thrown back in the other person's face later. Like you said last month, like I don't ever get any of that, and I love it. That's hard, man. I, I can't even stand it. That's hard. And the only reason I say it's hard because of my previous relationship. Like I remember, yep. yep. And you know, I done chop it up with you and all about it, bro. Like just, I'm. How you say? It? Let's hit on any points. You said support, key. Got a new job and whatnot. You would think people have you got a new job. I don't like how I don't I don't like how you are in distance yeah. relationships. I was like, dang, bro, I got a new job. Can I get a congratulations <laughs> first before yeah. you talk about yourself in the like? Come on, man. Yeah. And then communication. I mean, you can't. You call me, I call you, and as soon as we get on the phone, two minutes. What's up? And then for the rest of the phone call, about ten minutes go by. It's just dead silence. Like, Damn. Come on, man. Come on, man. 
that ain't no communication. Now, like you said, the great thing is, you know, you can talk to people. You meet somebody you can kind of just be real with, say whatever. Like, I can't even stunt. When I'm in now, I say anything and everything. And if shorty don't like it, she don't like it. But she tell me she don't like it. She'd be like, who you talking to? I'd be like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm talking to you. Who you talking to? But that works. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. whatever works for you in the communication game or the aspect, whoever you with, ladies, you know, go with that. Don't try to mimic your friend communication or your uh, your cousin or whoever because that probably won't work for you and your dude. So. <laughs> Cause it don't work for them. It don't. Yeah, they it pretending don't. that they, they doing that shit, dude, man. Oh my! I went through that, man. I'm like be hating on your shit. Exactly. But exactly. I can like it's all good and public. Like, oh yeah, we the happiest shit, of the happiest. Yeah, just a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it all. That's like the number one downfall is like when you try to measure your relationship against somebody else's. Right, you can't. Goals, you can't do that. You can't fucking do that, man. Like, you just... You can't do it. Who yeah. they ever seen Beyonce and JC compare their relationship to? Nobody. Yeah. They oh. live their own shit. Oh. He was sitting on that one. Nah. You, that's you was right. sitting on that one. No, you had that one red deep. Nah, that, you hit somebody with that line before. You had to. <laughs> don't don't compare us to nobody. That don't is real shit, it. though. Facts. Set the bar for yourself. But the other thing, too, is I think... On a, just speaking from a male perspective, man, like one of the hardest things for me in communicating is I'm a I'm a zero or one hundred person. Like either I love you or I just don't fuck with you type deal. So when I love you, I really, really, really care about you. So like you sound like me. I'm the a way <laughs> I'm a Sagittarius. I don't know, but it's like I've like the way I've opened up to my girl has just been like very different. Like, just, I mean, just in, in layman's terms, like, I feel like a bitch sometimes the way oh, I just man. express myself there. What? It, yeah, I don't, I don't, it's, it's weird, but I'm like. But why you feel like that? No, it's just like. Nah, brother. Nah, man, dude, dude like listen, that? listen, it's new. It's new because I've never had it before. Like, you know, man, we got to have the exterior. So we got to kind of be kind of on the phone. You didn't know that. No, 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 tears. Let your followers go. You was crying to your lady. No tears were hey, shed, girlfriend. but it's just he was crying I, on the phone to you. It's okay, we understand. I wasn't crying. It's okay, bro. but I've just had to really like express myself, just in general, like stuff that I may be uncomfortable about, or just my feelings in general, like telling her how I feel about her, and like that shit feels very different and weird to me. But I'm like, well, this is I think this is the way this is supposed to be because mm. it feels right. But can I ask you a question though? How many relationships you was in before that? Two serious relationships. Serious. How many times you thought you was gonna marry one of them serious ones? God damn! I gotta edit this part. Nah. No, um, no, no, these, no. This is one of them. No. <laughs> you don't want to edit it. No, I'm gonna answer. This is a good question. Though. Listen, I'm, listen. I'm gonna go All right, so one. edit that one. One of them, one of them potentially. Okay. I thought. I thought. You know what I'm saying? But the was, other one, you said you loved her too, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Shit. But now you saying you in this third serious Shit, one, everybody, then, and it feel weird. It feels weird because what? all the stuff I couldn't do with the other two before, yeah. I can do with her. Exactly. And it's brand fucking new. It's like, all right. I, first of all, I've known her for 10 years. So I knew this wasn't going to be no stereotypical whatever, whatever. Yo, like. friends for the longest? Oh, you you, you asked too many questions. You started out um, with close friends. <laughs> so how you turn into my girl? I'm done with y'all. But the communication has just always been there. And I just know that. Like, we've never really had an argument, never really had a fight. Oh, and she's just coming. always been, I know, somewhere. It has But to. shit, I'm good. The streak is good. But yeah. she's just always been so receptive, dog. Like, just anything I tell her, she's receptive and she gives me her feedback. It yeah. is no drama. There's no argument. There's no, what about me? What about what I want? Like, That's your body, nothing. Bro. Yeah. 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 So I watched the movie. That's all I saw. But I watched the movie on the Bonnie and Clyde from the police. You know? On Netflix? Oh, I gotta finish that Bro, shit. Bro, that junk is crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't want to be Bonnie and Clyde with each other <laughs> and drag them through the city. I'll let y'all watch it for yourself. I'm not gonna say the title because I don't want to get us in no trouble. Shit. I might no, watch it. It was tonight. worse than that, bro. I might watch that tonight. No, I don't recommend it. In the morning. Yeah, definitely in the morning. But um, <laughs> but that's good though, bro. I, right. Yeah, so to be honest with you, man, it's hard. It's it's very hard. 
to find that type of love and freedom within a relationship because you can't really meet somebody and vibe like that. Like you say, y'all yeah. was friends for 10 years. 10. So do you think years. it's more important to have that friendship first before you get into the relationship? I'm going to say yes for one reason. Um, I used to work at... This nigga's interviewing me. I used to work at K Jewelers. Oh, you the extra buffer that you wanted. You brought me I in. Remember this. This in. I remember this. I used to work at K Jewelers, and I remember this couple came Every in. Every kiss begins with K. This, <laughs> hey, hey. This guy, hey. Since you said that, he worked at K Jewelers. I'm going to tell you that. He ain't never looked out for the team. Y'all yeah, ain't never come through. I'm right there at Tiger. You came through? I came when you was in Somerville. No, act like you ain't worked there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You ain't never get no this. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> what are you about to do? Well, you know, <laughs> like <a> good, <laughs> boy, don't try to play me, bro. <laughs> listen, oh, yeah, you been listen, in there, boy. Listen, listen, that jury listen, and listen, stuff, listen, boy. Listen, man, I come from a long, long line of stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> I have been stupid. Listen, girl, I have been stupid back in the day. I'm the type of awesome, boy. Man. I was like stupid. Like I have been stupid. I have been buying it. Oh, girl. I bought earrings. I bought necklaces. I bought bracelets. I bought promise rings. I bought somebody a $800 pair of earrings. And you know what? I took them back to play them games with me. She was going to keep my money. Nah, I ain't took them back. She gave them back and she thought she was going to keep them. Like, nah. Nah, I gave them to my mama. Go ahead, though. <laughs> Hey, bro. Hey, women. Yo, we gotta have an episode just about you unpacking your shit. Cause you can't. Hey, bro. I can give y'all a whole episode. Y'all be laughing. With the friendship thing, it stuck with me. And I remember this Mm because I haven't worked there in like four or five years. But this guy was like looking at engagement rings and stuff. And like his girl went to Starbucks across the way. And I was like, y'all are really happy, I can tell. And he was like, bro, he's like, that's my best friend. He was like, that's my best friend. We have so much fun together. We do everything together. We spend time together. And he was like, we don't get on each other's nerves. He was like, that's my best friend. And that always stuck with me because... That's hard, though. That is so hard. hard. It's It's hard. hard. Not get on your nerves? Yeah, like, that's the thing. Like, that's another thing. Like, 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 here's the thing. Yeah, and y'all know I love y'all, but y'all know y'all talk to me like once every three, four months. Like I'm just, wait, wait, I'm wait. a withdraw. Listen, who talk to you once every three, four months? Cause I call you more now. At least talk to you I, once a month. Okay, maybe once a month. Thank you. But no, Marla, I ain't talked to Marla yeah. in like 18 years. But I mean, like a real conversation. Yeah. I don't talk to anybody except for like my mom. Her, dope, we talk. I think we've talked every day since like the beginning of last year. Like literally every day, hour. And hours of conversation, it, it yep. never gets old, it never gets boring. And it's like Mama. niggas be waiting on the text. Mama. Like y'all just heard my phone go off, and I'm gonna look, and I hope it's her. Like, <laughs> like that kind of friendship and bond that's different for me because I don't yeah. like talking to nobody like that like all the time. But yeah. it's like, damn, like I ain't hear from her yet. And then she feels the same way. Like the shit just feels different. It feels right. I'm like, damn, this is it for me. But to touch on something you said before, though, you feel like you could live with your girl and then go to work with her every day and then come home to her every day and still. You said work with her. What work with her? Like, you know how you, he said he would her nonstop. Yeah. Like, you don't think y'all could bump heads? I think you could bump heads. I mean, I think it's inevitable. How, how do you how do you make that work though? That's the question. Whew. Here's look, look, you go to sleep with this person. You wake up. You go to work with this person. Right. You I don't know about home. the work part. That's a lot. That's what I'm saying. Hey, I did it. I how, think. How did you get I, through it? I put it like, little let me give my two cents. And no, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you. Yeah, yeah, do you? Part of it is communication. Now, here's the thing. Like, right. I know when my girl's having a fucked up day. Like, I'll call her and I'll hear her mood. I'm like, yo, you having a fucked up day? Yeah. All right. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Fact. Like. Bong, like we ain't gotta be each other, up each other's asses all the time, mm-hmm. and we can still be in the same space, right. but just not on top of each other. And then, like again, I wrapped the support back around. Like one day she was having a bad day, and I was like, "All right, baby, I'll talk to you later." Mm-hmm. I cashed that her some money. I was like, "Hey, dinner on me." Bong. Oh, oh baby, I got some oh. wings and some and chocolate brownie. You ain't supposed to be eating that fucking chocolate brownie. I love you, yeah. but she ate it. You know what I'm saying? And she enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So I, I, I had to. I had to. Time, time, time. 
Okay. Shut up! You did that. <laughs> you, did that. I, I, you, did that. you did that though, Rob, but imagine if it was the opposite. So you said she didn't get on your nerve, right? Y'all could vibe. But what if you got that one that's texting you every five minutes and y'all at work? How do you handle that? Okay, oh, by your and, then, and then why you not responding? What you doing? I'm oh working. God. It's it's communication. Like, hey, don't tell her you working. You got is this is this personal? No. Is this this no, I, I haven't never worked with a girl, but I'm saying when you have someone well, we who's talking like, to the people though. They, well, they so probably have don't a, do shit like that. So if you, you have an oh, that's that's what I would call an over communicator. So here's the thing. You gotta find your vibe and your wavelength as far as communication. Ooh, like man. when my girl was in okay, let me hit this. Hold on, let me hit this hookah real quick. You supposed to blow out, bro. Is you smoking? Hey, Sorry. <laughs> I had a flashback. But, um, shut up. No, you have to. You have to find the vibes. Like right. I didn't know about. Like my girl wanted to talk to me every day. Like when I found that out in right. the beginning, when we were just talking, I was like, oh shit, because I don't. I don't like that normally. But I'm like, I she has it. meaningful conversations. So like, if, as long as you can pique my interest, it works. But you gotta let people know. Like, if you have That's an over communicator, let Shorty know. Look, I feel like you hit me up a bit too much. Like, can we regulate this, or maybe I need to hit you up? Cause like my girl, when she was in Cali, she was three hours behind me. Mm. So when she got off work, I'm at home chilling. She used to call me every day. Soon as five o'clock hit, walking out the, the door. Hey, babe, that, bro, niggas yeah. scared to tell them that. Bro. Back to commit. You can't be scared. Like, it ain't like she gonna break up with you. You know what I'm saying? But it's like... She might be cray cray. Yeah, if she yeah. wanted to break up with you because... She ain't the one for you. Right. I, that's how I feel. Like, you can't... If you're with someone... And this is what I don't get. And now, this is this is another reason why my girl has kind of, like, brought me to a new place. I know so many people in relationships dealing with little shit, big shit, little shit. And I'm like, you talk to her about it? Nah, I ain't talk to her because I ain't feel like... This. I'm like... Oh, I hate you can I solve know. that shit with a con like you can solve and I thought about this on the way over here. You can solve so much shit with a conversation, dog. Like just Easy. or just have a moment and say the statement. Yes. Like I ain't gonna lie to you. This is what this is my go to move. And I'm gonna tell you because Shorty called me doing it one day, right? So me and her, she was getting on my nerve and she said something to me. So my thing is and y'all will judge me. Y'all probably gonna laugh. It's whatever. So she was, she was like, "No, nah, I don't want to do that." So I walked away, mumbling, acting like I was talking. I don't want to do that. Da, 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 da. That's how I was acting. She caught me doing. She was like, "Did you just mumble me?" <laughs> me? And I was like, "Bro, that's how I handled it." Because if I don't do it like that, I'm gonna yeah. go off right now. Like, just leave me be. Right. But the communication is key. You gotta. I'm okay with you wanting to talk to me. All day, every day, mm -hmm. as long as the conversation that you bring to me every time you call is different. Because if it, I'm gonna I'm tell you right now, progress, I, man. Look, I I remember it used to get so crazy because Shorty would call me probably like four to five times a day, but every time was something different. And then when it decreased, it kind of hit me differently because I was like. Dang, why she ain't called me about six o'clock? What? She only called me two times a day. Yeah. She ain't even. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute, I'm gonna tell you right now. If you're doing it the right way, and the conversations be hitting for the dude, and if you want to know he really care, he gonna hit you and be like, "Dang, you ain't called me today." And you probably yes. didn't talk to him two hours ago. He be like, "Dang, I ain't even heard from you." you be like, and bro, you gotta let her know that shit. Like when you missing it, like I tell my girl, "Babe, I miss you." Like I ain't gonna tell her that every time. No, I tell I, her. I can't blow a head or have it look like the airhead commercial. I can't. Let do me that. tell you why I tell her. And this is this was a. a it took me some years to learn this. My last girlfriend said. She felt like I didn't communicate enough, and she always wanted this, wanted me to say, "Oh, I love you," blah blah blah. You don't say, "I love you" that often. And I'm like, I wasn't, I wasn't, I was never been the person to say that shit every five minutes or whatever. But after we broke up and I moved on and shit, I realized hearing that shit does something for the other person. It ain't always about you. You know what I'm saying? It's about what the other person needs. But because we weren't giving each other what the other person needed, it was kind of like a back and forth. It was like, well, you ain't doing this, so I ain't going to do that. So now I'm not in that situation. It's like the person she does and I do. 
but I understand why that shit is important now. I didn't understand before because there wasn't effective communication. It was just an argument or fussing at me or you talking at me rather than saying, hey, babe, this is what this is why I want you to do this. This is how it makes me feel versus why you ain't or you don't. You know what I'm saying? So, again, if, if y'all haven't recognized it yet, communication is the theme here. Now, you back, so back to you. Love, though, man. Listen, this my, she's my down. soulmate, bro. Oh my god, she's my soulmate. I, yes, yes, dude. Hey, bro, just put me in a wedding. We'll talk about I'm that trying to be air. everybody wedding. We'll talk about that off air. Oh, facts. But yeah, she she definitely is. She has to be. Like she's never. She's always gonna be in my life. Always, always, always. Like she just even. If, Okay, I'm gonna put it to you like this. If y'all was to break up, would you still be able to call them on y'all be the best of friends? No. <clears throat> yes, no. No, no, Here, no. That's no, no. a valid listen, 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 question. Listen, because listen. I'm, I'm gonna tell you what. Okay. Damn, you an asshole for interviewing me. I'm not interviewing Here, you. Here's I'm the tough you, part. You, the, you, you deep in it. So let me tell you. So over the 10 year period, like if we weren't really like talking, talking, mm-hmm. we would cut communication because... Neither one of us wanted to hear about you being with somebody else. There's no drama, no issue. The love was still there, but it was like, I don't want to hear about you having a new boyfriend, just like you don't want to hear about me having a girl. Wait, wait, wait. So, give us. So, basically, this was an old flame that came back around. This wasn't an old flame. What, what, what I was in, I'm in South Cat. Though. She was in Cali. I, I couldn't make that work at the time. But was y'all together at first? No. So, y'all was just cooling it and liked each other? Yeah, been different states. Yeah, it was just too much distance. Oh, it was too man. much distance. Like you need a refill. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> it was too much distance, bro. Like, bro, I was you know, My you know, I was, love, uh, I was teaching. So you, away. I was teaching. Love. So you know what those paychecks look like. Facts, I'm paychecks. Right. Facts. So how I'm gonna fly to Cali? I can't afford to fly to Cali. You know what I'm saying? You gotta find you a flight attendant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Great, laughs> <yeah. laughs> <laughs> so. The timing was just never there, but we always we always kept it cool 100 because mm-hmm. I knew what type of person she was, and I was mm-hmm. like, all right, when the day comes, I want to make sure that I didn't fuck anything up so when I can really make it work, mm. she won't have to look back or think twice, and that's what happened in Jamaica. First of all, Good boy. first of all, let's let's talk about his Jamaica Good boy, shit real ting, quick. Ting. This is how you knew he was in love. That boy sure. was posting everything he could about Jamaica and trying to do the little jump. We put his girl a little piece of his girl in the pic, and he was like, "F it, let me show my girl face real quick." He had to let people know. I get it. You you was looking all nice and cute and everything. He even had your toes out. And then, <laughs> that's how I know you were happy. Why everybody? You boy. had your toes out. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas is happy. I'm gonna tell you right now. Niggas be happy when they on vacation with their lady because the first thing they show is their own feet. That's all they show. Single dudes trying to be cool on the oh, beach shit. always got their socks on. Lady, if he got his socks off anywhere on the beach, he in a relationship. Because he don't even care what you think about his feet. Somebody so, loves him for his corny feet. Jamaica was just the first I love you. The relationship came when I went to go visit her. Because we talked oh, about wait, it. You told her I love you the first time in Jamaica? Yeah, I've been wanting to say it, but I didn't want to say the shit on Skype. Like, wait, what the did fuck? you say it first? Absolutely! And she said it right back. Right back. And then, uh, never mind. I know. Oh, I was about to say, <laughs> so this is before hey, hey, <laughs> <laughs> it was before or after you engaged. Shut up. So, but after that, you know, we had a convo, and I was like, all what right, type so. Of convo? Face to face? At the airport, the goodbye. So I'm like, what, what, what are we going to do? So she landed a job on the East Coast. So I was like, all right, cool. She was like, I want to be closer to you before we move forward. So yes, when she moved, <laughs> when she moved, I was like, mom, cool. Went to go see her. Oh, so she I, 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 I bought her the bundle of uh, the sweet grass roses from the Chuck Boy. Well, she, she, she wasn't was ready. She wasn't was ready. So we made it official. All right, enough about me because I'm putting all my shit about there. You eat. Ma, <laughs> what's good with you, Ma? Ma, what? Yeah, Ma, we gonna talk to this Ma, guy. Ma, what's? Can you tell me so something? We gonna talk to Ma. What's your ideal woman? What's your ideal woman, my brother? What you need? You can't put an ideal woman. What? Mm. Really? Why is that? No one's ever perfect. But 
Okay, and I'm glad you say that. But my thing is because you got to think the ideal woman in your eyes is the perfect woman. Mm. Everybody ain't gonna be perfect. But mm. is it? You don't have to be. This is my statement. You don't have to be perfect. You just got to be perfect for me. So you can be quote unquote. Say that, say, that, say that one more time. One more time. One more time. Say one more time. You don't have to be perfect. You just gotta be perfect he, for he's me. Singing that dude lyrics. No, that dude is. No, first of all, you don't gotta be perfect. No, <laughs> I've been saying that yeah, for a long time. Yeah, yeah. I ain't quoting no lyrics, ladies. I've been <laughs> saying that. I don't care what the world think of you as perfect. As long as you're perfect for me, we good. Right. That's yeah, all that that's matters. True. I be telling my girl that too. Man. I mean, but but yeah. The answer to the question, the ideal one for me, I I just need somebody that's gonna go get it. You know what I'm saying? You need a hustle. Yeah. I got the hustle mentality myself. So that what you just said, what you just said, that is something because my girl does makeup. She mm. can she can make wigs and shit. Like oh. she supports my entrepreneurial side. Like, babe, when you DJing again? What's going on with your DJing? What's going on with your gaming? What's going mm. on with the podcasting? Yeah, you better that keep was, her. That's who you need. That was Max. a support I didn't have before. Before it was like, well, why are you doing that? Right. Fuck you, mean like I don't want to work for somebody else for the rest and of my life. You enjoy it. Thank you. Know you. And she it's, gets it's, it it's because she does it. Right. It's yes. Fashion. Yes. So that, that's that's what y'all need to look for, ladies and gentlemen. So, Someone who believes in your passion just as much as you. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? That was a what, deep what, one. Your ideal woman, RB. Uh, man, to be honest with you, it, it's basically a support for me. Um, you know, I got a lot that I do for family, for my daughter. Like, I just need support. Because I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm the type of dude, if you say, baby, I'm trying to go pursue this. I'm going to push you 110%. Yep. I'm going to push you if you say, dang, baby, I need to get this, but I need to work to get this check up. If I got the 500 that you may need, I'm going to give it to you. Right. But when it comes to me expressing what I want to do, I want you to feel that same way. That's all I want. It could be a good decision. It could be a bad decision. Mm -hmm. Support comes in so many different ways. Support comes in you telling me, baby, this is a bad decision. That's support because you don't want to see me go down the wrong road. It don't always have. I don't want no yes woman. Right. I need you to be like, listen, baby, I don't think that is the best thing for you to do. That's cool right. with me. That's a level of support. That's that's what I need. And I need you to be a family person, a family woman, somebody that's a family woman. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all. My key thing is I need you to be in church. I need you to be in track. I need you to have your life on track. Mm -hmm. I need you to know what you're doing. I'm telling you right now, born and raised in church. And even if it's not in church, it's just spiritual life, right? That's what matters to me. I need that because I realize that's key for me. Because I'm living my life according to that. I'm trying to make sure that I'm a helpmate, a provider. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to make sure I'm affectionate enough to give you what you need. Yep. I'm trying to take care of you. I'm trying to take care of your moms. I'm trying to take care of anybody in your life because you in my life and that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, damn, you taking care of them, huh? <laughs> hey, brother. Where ain't daddy listen, at? Listen, <laughs> hey, so, tell me, okay. I'm going to put it on. I feel you, though. I feel you, though. I'm going to tell you, real. Real. Easy, you, you got to, though. Since, you, since, so, hold on. So, since, you ain't going to take you're care of Since you a well-seasoned man. Who well-seasoned? Talk, talk, talk to the folks, the, the ladies and gents about balancing having a child Ooh. in your relationship yes yes Ooh. yes now that's a perspective so, so, in, so in talk case, to the people though yeah in case y'all didn't pick how, that up yet, you, rb has a daughter so, right. so do. how, how do you balance being father of the year and maintaining your relationship because you got to understand people out there got baby mother baby mothers or fathers that are envious of their current relationship so they try to Use that child mm, mm. as a weapon, right? Mm. Let me call some stress and strain on this nigga real quick because he's looking too happy over there. Right, here. right. So wait, so wait, wait. wait. You like, can't. Bro. I'm gonna tell you why you can't stress and strain me on that topic. And I'm gonna say this because I'm gonna keep it real, child. Any woman that I talk to, I always let her know if I'm with you, you are my queen, and my daughter is my princess. The same way I gotta take care of you. I gotta take care of my daughter in the same way and whatnot. That's that's really what it is. Like, I'ma make sure you good always, but I'ma always make sure my daughter good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
to juggle it, how you juggle it is basically like this. As long as you make sure your daughter's straight, and then you make sure your girl's straight, you good. I include my girl in anything I do with my daughter. Mm -hmm. Anything. Because as long as I include the both of them in my plans, they good. I went to a monster truck show that Shorty invited me to with her peoples. Mm -hmm. I said, cool. She was like, well, why don't you bring your daughter? I said, even better. This is my right. weekend with my daughter. Let me go ahead and make sure I do that. That right there, check mark. That's what matters to me. People nowadays, bro, oh, they feel mean. like they got to exclude right. their daughter to have a great relationship with a woman. Yeah. And then other side of it is they feel like they got to exclude their woman to have a great relationship with their daughter. Mm -hmm. Now, fellas, I'm not saying introduce every woman to your child. I'm not even saying that. But what I'm saying is this. When you realize that when you look at your girl, you see potential in her being your forever, you need to introduce them. And I'm going to tell y'all why. I ask my daughter at least monthly what you think about shorty and i say thumbs up or thumbs down mm -hmm. or we in the middle my daughter say we we do it we honestly we just did it two weeks ago mm -hmm. i said what you think of shorty she said mm, daddy I'm, I'm, I'm at a thumbs up i like her mm -hmm. she do good with me we, we work well i was like, okay cool i'm with that i talked to shorty i said what's up what you think She's like, no, we can definitely, I'm, I'm ready. Like, I miss, you know, I miss her and this and that. That's what I need to hear. Because I'm watching your interactions. That's why it's never no problem with me. And for my young brothers out there that got a kid and you not with the mother, you don't do anything like that. Listen, be up front with the moms. I'm going to tell y'all why. It's worth it. Tell us straight up. We not rocking like that. I'm on to something different. You don't got to go into detail what's different, but just tell them we're not rocking like that. Yep. Once you do that, like you said, it's always communication yep. with your girl, your daughter, and your daughter's mother. That's what it is, man. That's why it's easy for me to juggle it because it's not really juggling because we all a part of it. You know what I'm saying? Even, for example, this weekend, taking my daughter to the uh, Azalea or the Flower Town Festival yep. and whatnot. I told Shorty, yo, come down, why don't you? Come out, part away with us. Go, we can go to the festival. I told my daughter before I even did, I said, what you think about inviting sure. She was like, yeah, that's cool, daddy. Let's do it. Right. That way, you, that's yeah. how you keep lines of communication open and everybody's happy. You can't exclude one to get to the other. You'll never survive out here. Ever. And, and here's the thing a lot of people don't think about. Your parents are your first introduction and first example of what a relationship looks like. Facts. So... If your mom or if you with mom or dad now, what they do is what you're probably gonna do when you get older, whether mm -hmm. it's good or bad. I've seen both sides of the coin. I mean, it's mm -hmm. not a hundred percent a determining factor, but like a lot of the stuff my dad did and how my dad was is how I am. Like I don't even have kids, but it's funny you said that because mm -hmm. my dad used to always tell women he would date because I was in middle school and stuff. I don't go anywhere that my son can't go. Or don't invite me anywhere or mm -hmm. to anything if you feel like you wouldn't be okay with my son coming too. I would never fucking go. I want to see that shit. I want to stay home and play PS1 or P uh, N64 <laughs> back in the day. So it's, it's really important that you say that because you don't ever want to feel like you're choosing somebody over your child. Right. Ever. Yes. yes. But, every, but to go back to what Arby said, every forever ain't forever though. <laughs> Facts. Niggas, niggas got real life. I mean, Excuse me, not niggas, but people in general, male, female. You got to understand that your child comes first. So everybody you get in a relationship with, your child is not going to vibe with or like that person. Yep, and preach that, that bro. And if, and if that's the case, you got to understand that your child comes first before your love. So Every no, matter, no matter how much you love this person or want to be with this person, if your child does not like that person or has a bad vibe, Understand and listen to your child because nine nine times out of ten your child is right. Facts and it's not gonna work. Cause Super either, facts. Because what's gonna happen if if you choose love over your child, your child is gonna end up hating you. Mm -hmm. and being the total opposite of you, and going down the path you probably don't want. And then that mother or father of that child with you 
is going to end up resenting you even more. So understand that, you know, your child comes first. And you should always want to put your child first anyway, because think about if your parent didn't put you first and how you felt. Or if you grew up like that, think about how you resent your parents and you don't want your child to do the same. Yeah. So just keep that in mind. And to my ladies out here that's saying that y'all don't date brothers with kids. <laughs> Listen, ladies. I am okay with that. I have had multiple women turn me down because they said they don't want to talk to me because I have a daughter. That's cool. But I am going to tell you this, ladies. If you meet a man that is in his daughter's life or even his son life, regardless of his situation with the moms, I'm going to tell you right now, that's the best relationship you can be in. That is the best relationship you gonna be. Tell in. him why. I'm gonna tell you, bro. Bro. <laughs> bro. Because you know what? He gonna make sure his child's good. He gonna make sure you good, and everyone else around him is good. He gonna push. I'm gonna. T- I'm gonna give y'all an example, bro. I drive from Charlotte, Columbia, to Somerville. I dr- countless miles on my whip, going back and forth. My daughter had an award ceremony that was yeah. 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes. And I rode from Charlotte back to Somerville just so I can be to an event that was 20 minutes. And then had to come back up to the Met to go to an event with my shorty because she needed me there. I'm telling you, man, a, a father understands that he has to juggle many roles, many things on his plate. And don't feel like you gonna be shortchanged just because he and his good life. A sacrifice, right? Mm. That's what it is. That's what, it, bro. Y'all know me, and I tell y'all this all the time. My list of priorities has me literally last on it. Yeah. But I'm gratified, and I feel so good about it because of the fact being that everyone around me is good. You know what I'm saying? Me and you just chopped it up. And we talked about it. It's yeah. like everybody around me is good. Yeah. So I'm good. Because they good. And the thing is, I draw strength from my kid. I draw strength from my girl. I draw uh, I draw strength from my fam and my friends. Because of the fact being is that I'm pushing for them. Yeah. Like I'm saying, the support hit differently when you got so many people depending on you. Yeah. So yeah. If your girl supports you yeah. when she depend on you. Yeah. And your kid depend on you. And you got your girl behind you like, baby, keep going. Like, that's deep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now. That's my fam and my. <laughs> but <laughs> bro, you about to get hella followers. Oh yeah, I need hella followers, please. I definitely need some followers. Sorry, I'm, I'm, nah, that, I'm talking about you. Man. My boy showed Ooh, me, me love real quick. Not. Um, I need followers. Thank you, sir. Yeah, y'all. Um, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we had to edit. Yeah, Go ahead. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Um, nah, just don't, just don't, just don't be so quick to shut down the dudes with kids. And I ain't gonna listen. I ain't gonna lie. They don't say they all perfect because they not. Yeah. Everybody go through a phase where they still living their best life. I get it. But when you meet a good dude that's about his business, about his money, about his kid, about you, you know. It's a possibility that you, you know, you might have met the one. You know, I've heard people say, well, you know what? I ain't gonna lie to you, Rob. I really am not ready to be a stepmother. Yeah. And, I, and my response to them is, look, to be honest with you, I didn't ask you to be a mother. My daughter got a mother. I asked you to be with me. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Come in, be with me. Everything else will work itself out. But, you know, it is what it is. I don't hate on the women that don't want to date uh a dudes with kids, but I do say y'all cutting yourself short. And, and like some great people out here. Here's the thing, y'all. It's okay to have a preference. Like I personally prefer. Facts. I personally prefer not to date someone with kids because I know how I am. I'm a giver. I'm a lover. Like I'm gonna take them in just like I take you in, and I'm gonna give that a whole lot. What's wrong and with that though? I'm not where I want to be to be able to do some of those things. And I just don't know mentally if I'm mature enough to handle that. I mean, I don't have to worry about that. My girl don't have any kids. But, but it's just the way I go. Though. And then I know. No, second, it's, I didn't say anything was wrong with it. I said it was a preference. But my thing is this. You just said you're a giver and yeah. you're a lover. But you got to be. Do you but, know the example that you've given that kid 
They see you with their mom as a giver and a lover compared to what their father probably don't do. You and right. you didn't even have to do nothing for the kid. All you did was look out for the mom yeah. and you show love to the moms. And you got to step up, though, because that... You know, me being no. Listen to will you listen? I saw you because I've been a teacher. This is is just coming from the teaching background. Oh, I know our kids attach. I know our kids attach to you, and Mm. if things don't work out, Mm. you gotta. When I leave her, I gotta leave you. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's more to me. It's more than one relationship. Yeah, I understand. You know what I'm saying? So because I dated someone back in the day who had who had a kid, um, (laughs) and he loved me to death, like. But you when she wanted to go on girls' it. night, she would bring him over and like we would hang out and chill. Wait, no, that's too much. shut up. That's too much. <laughs> Listen, I told that's, you. Hey, father, stop. Don't, <laughs> my, no, not even father, my brothers. <laughs> don't allow her to make you a babysitter, <laughs> brothers. You are yeah. not. He ain't the babysitter though. No, he no, no. He that, said he she wanted a girls' chill, night, but gotta put the child to sleep first. No, she said she wanted a girls' baby. night, and she dropped the kid off and left. That's a babysitter. Yeah, nah, she wrong for that. We, she, <laughs> she ain't putting her child first, so y'all don't. Well, do it was. I mean, uh, it it was a. I wouldn't say she was wrong, but I see where no, y'all. Well, you said that. Well, I, I'm well, just talking about. <laughs> I'm just talking about the parents that. Wait, 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 people. No, I didn't. But say listen, that. I didn't no, say she, she was having a girls' night. Didn't have a babysitter. Her and I were doing whatever. Like we worked at the same job. We worked together, so you I know how stressful that shit was. Isn't it? You said what? You brought us some Moscato, did you? Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Well, that's, a, that's a new Okay, yeah, that's what are you talking about? Did you charge her for the babysitting service? Yeah. I'm not telling this story. Oh, you got paid afterwards. I'm not telling this story. Because the baby was asleep when she got home. I'm not telling this story. My boy. All right, my I'm not telling this story. Always do community service. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm not telling this story. All right, Pete and Nipsey Hussle. Real tough. Hey, that's yeah. facts, though. For real, for real. Yes, sir. Nipsey Hussle. That's I'm not telling that story. Uh, <laughs> you did community service, bro. Man, shut up, man. <laughs> you watch the baby. And then you went to... I'm going then, baby on baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what he did. He think he's slick. He was like, you know what? Yo, I'm going to let her go out with her friends. No, hold on. He was like, I'm going to let her go out with her friends. Get nice and tight. And then I'm going to put her son to sleep. Anything is possible. And she going to come home. <laughs> I'm be like, oh, you thought you was gonna leave? Don't worry, I put the baby to sleep. You ain't got no excuses. Yo, nah. y'all are so wild. Wow. Oh, you want? Hey, I got the cutting and the draws. That's what you did. You ain't get no cutting. Bro. All right, I, no, no, so, no I, I got you. He a new, new man. Hold up, man. Guess <laughs> <laughs> one more. <laughs> hold ain't up. nobody get no cutting in my yep. house. I get the cutty, I get the draw, I get the trim. Ain't nobody the trim. in there. There no cutty in my house. Yo, I can't take y'all two together, man. Oh, shit. Yo. Y'all look crazy. But I will say this, though, man. Like, ladies, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I love y'all in all shapes. You like that. You lying. You lying. That's a lie. I know you well enough. Wait, wait, no, you are not gonna do that. I did one. We already talked about that. But ladies, I'm gonna say right now, I'm a sucker for a beautiful smile and a big booty. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna just tell y'all right now. Everybody, everybody don't got a big booty. Yo, I ain't gonna not listen. Michael Strahan. Wait, pause, pause. Michael Strahan. Wait, you hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, Hey, I about the Hey, 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 I gotta Can't stop. Breathe. I gotta stop and restart. This is part oh, one. We coming back with part two. Hold up. Y'all check out part two. Whatever. Y'all know all the tags and from my experience.